This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can export your work as a PNG file with a transparent background using Affinity Designer. So let's get started here. As you can see, I have this example graphic on my page here, the, uh, the app icon for Affinity Designer. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to ungroup it just to show you. This is just a bunch of individual vector objects that I put together. Let me group that back together. Now, when you export a graphic, uh, with, with Affinity Designer, there's three different ways that you can export it. You can export the entire document, which is the white rectangle you see here with the graphic in it. You can export just the graphic itself, or you can export the graphic along with anything else within the area of this bounding box right here, including the white background. So if you want to export just this one object right here with the transparent background, what you want to do is select it like I have here on my screen and then go to file and click on export and over here in this list we have all of these different file types to choose from we want to choose png uh, we want to leave all of the presets as they are except for right here where it says area now right here where it says area we have these three different options whole document selection area and selection only let me show you how all three of these work if i choose to export the graphic based on the whole document. As I explained earlier, if I click on preview, it shows you a preview of what will be exported here. It's the whole document with the white background with that graphic included. If I export uh, the selection only and click on preview, it's going to export just the graphic and you can see that there is a transparent background right here represented by the checkerboard pattern. Now there's one more option selection area. Let me demonstrate how that works. To do that, I first want to just create a little rectangle real quick. And I want to place this beneath the uh, graphic. I'm just going to press Control, Shift, and the left bracket key. And the reason why I'm doing that, let me select on this graphic. When I choose to export just based on the selection area, it's going to export everything within the bounding box of this selection right here, including that red rectangle and including the white background. So let me come back up here and go to File, click on export and I want to choose selection area and if I click on preview it shows you what's going to be exported there so this is not going to export as a transparent background as you can see here if you want to export just this one object with a transparent background make sure you choose selection only and hit preview before you do so just to make sure everything looks good as you can see there it looks great so I'm going to close out of that and now you can go ahead and click on export and then you will have a PNG file with a transparent background. So that's how you can go about doing that with Affinity Designer. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.